Hey everybody. So whether we like it or not, AI is getting shoved down our throats. It's getting to the point where it's everywhere. From the search bar on Google to the search bar on Facebook or Facebook Messenger or probably Instagram too, uh, Meta for example. Um, you can find it at your local uh, drive through as many uh, drive, um, fast food restaurants are starting to implement AI speakers. So when you place your order, you're speaking to a robot and not an uh, actual human being. I mean, AI is getting, it's getting to a point where it's getting everywhere. And I must say, I'm kind of getting tired of it, but it's unfortunate because there's nothing that we can do about it, apparently. It's getting shoved down our throats as we speak. For example, I did a Google search just a few minutes ago to do my most recent video, and... Now, when you do a Google search, um, used to be when you do a Google search, you would get search results to websites. But now, at the top of the page, you have this AI answer, where Google's AI answers your question or answers your search term. And, I mean, sometimes it can be a little convenient to have that, but a lot of times it's just in the way because, let's face it, there's a lot of times where it doesn't have a clue what you're, what you're actually asking for, and it's just in the freaking way. And... For example, like if I want to go order some fast food, um, for example, uh, since I live in North Carolina, we have Bojangles here. Well, Bojangles is pushing out this new AI drive through ordering system called Bolinda. You pull up to the drive through speaker. Used to be a human being would say, welcome to Bojangles, what can I get for you today? Now you have this AI bot um, greeting you at the drive through speaker. And it's asking you what you want to order. And it's like AI is getting shoved into everything. And it's it's I'm not a fan of it. I'm not really a fan of it at all. Um, for example, when I go to Bud Jingles, um, which there's one with them walking distance on a place of work, so I don't use a drive through um, At least I get to speak to a human being at the front counter, but they have a speaker that plays in the kitchen um, that that broadcasts the drive through um, It broadcasts whatever the AI bot is saying and it also broadcasts whatever the uh, um, customer is saying so that way they can monitor it and if it screws up they can overtake it and uh, figure things out but it's like you know this AI stuff is getting ridiculous it's it's getting into everything and of course let's not forget Microsoft's trying their best to shove it into Windows 11 which they I mean and Windows 10 too. Um, yeah, they're they're not gonna forget Windows 10 even though they're getting ready to ditch support for Windows 10 this over a year. It's just it's so ridiculous. Now think of AMD for example. They're gonna start listing AI in their CPU models. It's like we just stop it with the AI stuff. We don't need this AI stuff. Maybe I'm just old fashioned, but it's just getting ridiculous. And I'm curious what y'all think about this. Are y'all getting tired of AI getting shut on everything? Used to be when you went to search for something, you didn't get AI answers at the top of the page. Or for example, in uh, Facebook app, in the Facebook app, used to be when you went to search button for something, you would see a search button. But now they replaced it with Meta AI. Or if you're in the Messenger app, if you want to search for a message, um, there used to be a search icon. Well, they replaced it with the Meta AI um, button. And it's like, we don't want this AI. It's getting ridiculous. So, anyways, what do y'all think? Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video from QCareer Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and tick the bell so you get notified of a new video I post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And share this video as well as the channel with your friends to get the word out. In addition, I have a second YouTube channel. That's QCompMTDX. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for your support.